Hey guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a piercing overview video of all the piercings I've had and I'm just going to include how much they cost, how painful they were to get, and how long I've had them. I don't want to go too in depth of each piercing. If you guys have any questions you can leave them below in the comments or request a video specific on that piercing. And if I'm looking down a lot it's because I have notes here on my laptop. So I'm gonna go in order from the very first piercing I got and that was actually my left tragus which I don't have anymore. Um, it was about $30 to pierce. The pain level was about a 1 out of 10. I really didn't feel anything. I got this back in 2008 so I was 17 years old and I had it for about a year. Now the reason I don't have it anymore is because they originally pierced it with a hoop and when I went to get it changed at the piercing parlor to a stud she said that it was pierced pretty close to the edge and she didn't want to put a stud in there because she didn't want to see it get ripped out and I was gutted I really just wanted the cute little stud in there you know I didn't want to keep the hoop if it was already pierced close to the edge so I went ahead and got my right tragus pierced instead this was about $35 and I did have her pierce it closer inwards toward the scalp so it did hurt a bit more than the first tragus this was about a 5 out of 10 and I've had this for about 8 years now. Moving on from the tragus, I actually got my top cartilage here pierced at the very same time and it was also $35 and this was about a 2 out of 10 for pain. It really was not painful at all. It's just that big top one there. The next piercing I had done was my conch, and this was $65. It actually was not painful. I would say it was about a 1 out of 10. However, it's such thick cartilage there that it didn't hurt going through, but I could feel the pressure, you know? Like, I could just feel the squeeze, but it wasn't painful. And just popping through the cartilage nearly made me pass out. I remember, um... I was fine and I stood up and walked down the stairs, fine, and I got to the bottom of the stairs and I was like, uh, I need to sit down and I had to drink a juice box and it was really embarrassing. I absolutely love this piercing. It's the only one I have on my left ear right now and it's just so cute. It looks like a little diamond just sitting you know, in the middle of my ear there. And I got that done in 2010 when I was 19, so I've had that now for seven years. The next piercing was my belly button. And let me tell you, this was like the worst piercing experience I've had. It cost $20 and I purposely went to a cheap piercing parlor because I didn't want to spend and that was a huge no-no. I honestly I don't think that the woman who pierced me knew what she was doing. It was very very painful to get done. It was I would say it was a 10 out of 10 and it actually hurt so bad and I was having such an issue with the pain that I took it out only three days later and I went to my regular piercer at the time and I just had her take it out because it was so painful. It was also a little tiny bit crooked and it really bothered me. So I do have a little tiny scar there. It's not really noticeable. I'm not going to show you only because I can't like get the right camera angle, but maybe in a future video. Okay, so after the belly button piercing debacle, I decided that I was going to start going to a very reputable piercer. I just didn't want to take the chance of something ever going going wrong just because I wanted to save a little money. So I started going to a woman who actually is the one who created the Daith ear heart piercing. I started going to her and that is where I got my nose pierced. All of the prices I'm telling you don't include tips, so I always tip on top of the price I am giving you. But this was $60. The pain was about a 4 out of 10. I did get this done in 2011, so I've had it for 6 years now. And I will go ahead and zoom in for you. So that is what it looks like there. The next two piercings I got done at the same time and the first one is this cartilage right here. It is actually not a rook piercing so it doesn't go through this piece here. 
it goes from the front to the back there, if you can see that. So it is what is called a faux rook, and that alone was $60. It was about a six out of 10 for the pain. And the other piercing I got done at the same time is the second cartilage here, and that was also $60. And the pain was about a five out of 10. So I've had both of these for about four and a half years now. The next piercing is probably my all time favorite piercing, and that is my tongue piercing. This was $60 and this was the piercing that I was most nervous for. I was so anxious about getting this done even though I really wanted it and that's why I did it. I was shaking. I felt like I was going to vomit. It, it was actually my least painful piercing of all and I'm not like I'm not joking. I'm not you know lying. I literally did not feel this piercing. It was a zero out of 10. I didn't even think he had done it. Like when he put the needle through, I was like, okay, like I'm ready. And he was like, it's done. Because I was so nervous, I was kind of like not sticking my tongue out all the way. Cause you have to hold your tongue out like, like while they're piercing it. And I don't know if that's why it is a little bit crooked but it's really not that noticeable and it is my favorite piercing. I've had it for about three and a half years now and I haven't had any problems with it except for nearly choking on one of the balls one time, but that's for a different video. And my final piercing, which sadly I don't have anymore, but I did have my septum pierced. This piercing cost me about $45. The pain was pretty bad. It was not as bad as my belly button, but besides that, it was definitely the second most painful. It was about an 8 out of 10 for the pain. I only had it for about three months and I did take the balls off of it because for work I couldn't have it and one night it just slipped out and I couldn't get it back in and then by the next day when I tried again to put it back in it just wouldn't go in. It was already starting to close up so unfortunately I don't have my septum anymore, which it looked really cool and I think maybe I'll get it redone in the future. So that was an overview of all of the piercings I've had done. Um, some piercings I want in the future, um, like I said, I think I want my septum re-pierced. I definitely want my daith pierced. And then for this ear, I kind of just want to fill it up more. So maybe like my rook, maybe my snug, I think would be really cute. And I don't know if I'm brave enough for this, but I think in the future, I might want my belly button done again. Yeah, if I ever get any of those piercings, I will be sure to do videos on them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button to see more. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm looking so bright. What the hell? So I...